and welcome back to In the Blue Paint with Alex Cooper. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the rookies that could show well in camp and where they might play if they make the Leafs this year or where they might play if they don't make the Leafs this year. Now, the topic for this video was suggested by someone on our Leafs when I posted one of my other videos, so I'd like to thank them for suggesting this topic. And I know I said in my last video I'd be talking about defensemen. Don't worry, I will be making that video eventually. But I had some time today, so I figured I'd talk about some rookies. And so today we're mainly going to be talking about Nylander, Percy, and Granberg, and where I see them playing next year. Okay, let's start with William Nylander. Now, he's the least first-round pick from 2014, and as such, and as a top-10 pick, everyone's really excited about him in Leafs Nation. However, if he's not playing in the, as a top-six player in the NHL, He's not really suited in terms of his size to play in the bottom six or his experience. He's never played in North America before. So, as I discussed in my first video, I believe David Clarkson's probably going to get that last right wing second line spot, which Nylander will probably be battling for in camp. Because Clarkson makes so much money and is a veteran, I feel like the Leafs will start him there to start the season, and this will probably mean that Nylander goes to play either back in Sweden or hopefully in the AHL where he can start to adjust to the smaller ice in North America as well as get used to Toronto. Having said that, if Clarkson is not successful on the second line, which if he plays like he did last year, he won't be playing there long, then Nylander might be an option for the Leafs to call up, get his nine games in, and uh, see what he does in that second-line spot. So I think Nylander, even if he shows really well in camp, he probably won't start the year in the NHL. I'm hoping he starts the year in the AHL, uh, where he can adjust to the game. And so let's move on. Uh, Stuart Percy. So Stuart Percy is a defenseman who the Leafs drafted in the first round a few years ago in that Bigs draft. Um, now, he played last year in the AHL and was very successful with the Marlies as a defensive defenseman. And he plays the left-hand side, which, depending on how the Leafs line up their defense this year, could be useful. Uh... I really think he would have to have an excellent showing in camp to be considered to start the year with the Leafs, but he's got the ability and he's shown that he can be a defensive guy in the AHL, so I can't see him as not being a call-up for the Leafs this year. Now, the third guy I want to talk about is Petter Granberg. Uh, he played with the Leafs in one game last year against the the Ottawa Senators at the very end of the season when the Leafs were out of it and they were just trying to finish off the season. Uh, and he looked really good in that game. However, what hurts him is he's a right-handed shot and the Leafs are kind of stacked at that position with Phaneuf preferring to play the right side, Robidaw being a right-hander, Franzen being a right-hander, and Polak being a right-hander. So you're already behind four guys who want to play the right side. Now, the Leafs could move Phaneuf over to the left side, to his natural shot side, but even then you're still the fourth option on the team. Uh, Granberg might be a really good seventh option uh, for the Leafs if they want to carry seven defensemen, or he may go back to the AHL and be called up when there's an injury or a need. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, once again, you can find me at Alex underscore Cooper 89 on Twitter. Um, and leave comments, and if you like the video, hit like. If you really like and want to hear more of my take on the Leafs, uh, hit subscribe, and I will see you all again later. Bye.